Hey there, agents. Welcome to this extended episode where we dive deep into the chaotic world of the Division 2 server downtime. Buckle up because we got a whole page of unbelievable twists and turns coming your way. Picture this. The sun is shining, birds are chirping, and the Mike Owen era screen is just so mesmerizingly beautiful this time of year. It's a sight to behold, isn't it? Well, our beloved players are getting more anxious than ever, with the release of Year 5 Season 1 hanging in the balance. But here's the kicker. The servers are down, and they've been down for not just one, two, or three times, but a whole entire day. Let's dive into the insanity, shall we? First, let's talk about what good came out of this madness. The community discord is on fire. Players are chatting up a storm about other games, swapping stories and forming support groups to survive this server downtime crisis. It's like a virtual beach party without the beach. Now, let's rewind to the beginning of this roller coaster. It all started just 12 hours ago, when the first official announcement dropped. To release the new Season 1, Broken Wings will be taking the Division 2 servers down for a scheduled maintenance on June 8th at 9.30 a.m. CST, 3.30 a.m. EDT, and 12.30 a.m. PDT. Estimated downtime is three hours. Three hours. That's manageable, right? Well, hold on to your gears because things are about to get wild. June 8th arrived, and what do you know? No game. Zilch. Nada. The dev team quickly tweeted an apology, but it was short and sweet. The maintenance has been extended by approximately three hours. Players were not amused. Three hours turned into six, and the patient's barometer was plummeting faster than the rogue agent in the dark zone. But fear not, brave players. We thought maybe some Diablo 4 could pass the time, right? So we jumped into some monster slaying mayhem, hoping that when we returned, the division would be ready to welcome us with open arms. Oh, how wrong we were. As we triumphantly tried to lock back into the division after three hours of intense demon hunting, a shockwave hit us harder than a bullet sponge boss. An apology post, perfectly timed to crush our hopes and dreams, appeared on the official Ubisoft Division news page, and it read, We will be carrying out an essential maintenance on 8th of June 2023 from 3.30 to 9 o'clock on 9th of June 2023. You will be unable to connect to the game servers while the maintenance is ongoing. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. And guess what? This affect all platforms. Ouch. A tweet followed shortly after, and it wasn't good news. Brace yourselves. The maintenance has been extended for an additional six hours due to an unexpected issue affecting the saved game files. Our team is actively working to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. We apologize for any inconvenience caused and we'll keep you updated on the progress. Six more hours? It's like a never-ending loop of waiting, disappointment, and Mike Owen haunting our dreams. Needless to say, players were angry. Compensation demands were flying left and right. Some even wanted an apology gift. And spare a thought for the Twitch streamers. All they could do was stare at the main menu contemplating the meaning of life and loot drops. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the moment of truce arrived. We geared up for the game, ready to face the broken wing season head on. But wait for it. Another tweet hit us like a headshot. The team has made some good progress, but we'll have to resume work tomorrow. 
Unfortunately, we do not have an ETA for the resolution now, meaning that the game will remain unavailable until the issue is fixed. You read that right, folks. Progress has been made, but you won't be able to farm for that sweet loot today. See you all tomorrow, or whatever this madness ends. The game will remain unplayable, and it feels like forever. At least the developers got to go home without pulling night shifts or working overtime. Silver lining? Anyone? Now, players are furious. It's not every day you witness a live service game down for a full 24 hours with no one able to play. Remember the good old days when we had CDs and we owned the games we purchased? Sure, they might have been limited, but at least they weren't even offline. Ah, nostalgia. Rumors are spreading that our characters say will be corrupted or lost. And we will all reset back to level one. Maybe our stats will be scrambled or our entire stash of loot deconstructed. If you're looking for some comic relief amidst the chaos, Head over to the subreddit. It's a treasure trove of hilarious rants, memes, and conspiracy theories about the server downtime. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Oh, and did I mention that this is happening at the worst possible time? Other games like the aforementioned Diablo 4 were just releasing the same time frame, and people were tempted to switch games. Imagine having such a massive issue, pun intended, <laughs> that players can't even access your game for a whole 24 hours. Talk about bad timing. And there you have it, Agents. The never-ending saga of the Division 2 server downtime. Will we ever get to play Broken Wings? Will our characters be eternally stuck in limbo? Only time will tell. Until then, grab some popcorn, stay tuned for the next episode of the Division server downtime chronicles. I remember, laughter is the best way to survive the Michael 1 apocalypse. If you made it this far, I want to emphasize that this video is made with an intent for entertainment purpose only. However, in all sincerity, it's crucial for us to acknowledge the significant effort involved in releasing and maintaining a major update. It's not uncommon or unexpected issues to arise during this process. The development team has undoubtedly devoted countless hours, even working through a grueling 13-hour day in their relentless pursuit of identifying and resolving these issues. It's only fair that they have the opportunity to reset and recharge during a well-deserved night's rest. As players, we must exercise patience and maintain trust in the developers. Rest assured, that the team is diligently working with the best intentions and players' interest at heart. An update will be provided in due course as the servers come back online. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode as we delve deep into the new year with Season 1, Broken Wings. See you then.